your mom says you were practically born into golf. You had a plastic set of clubs. <laughs> Early, uh, nine years old, the family moves from San Francisco to Dallas, uh, joined Bent Tree mm-hmm. uh, Country Club. How much do you think that exposure to talent impacted where you are today? It's huge. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've basically grew up with two world number ones. I mean, between Scotty and Jordan, we've known each other forever. And um, we had some great junior golf battles back in the day. And um, it's been fun being so close with someone and going through the ranks together. Jordan is probably the most storied junior, I'd say, since Tiger. Um, you know, they're the only two that have won multiple U.S. juniors. And Jordan shot 63 at my home club when he was 14. Um, we were not allowed to take carts, but I remember we somehow were able to get away with it. I think he was six under for his first seven holes and then like honestly fell asleep on the back nine. I think he made a couple bogeys and shot 63 at 14. And I brought that up to him the other day actually. And he was like, really? I don't remember that. And I'm like, well, I do. So thanks. Yeah, really appreciate that. But just being around someone like that where, I mean, he kicked my teeth in for forever. I mean, are you thinking at the time like, I just want to kick this guy's ass someday. Yeah, I mean, like I'd beat him in singular rounds, but I'd never beaten him in a tournament. I mean, the first time I actually beat him in a tournament was the 2020 US Open. I mean, that's kind of a long time to be losing to someone, if you think about it. I never look for, you know, oh, I beat this guy, I beat that guy, but I just remember looking at it and like, I think that's the first time I've ever beat Jordan. And like, it literally took me 14 years to do it, so. You think it bothered him? No, because I think he's doing all right. What did uh, watching Jordan teach you? Because he's, what, like three years older? Yeah, he's he's three years older, but he was just so um, confident and mature in what he was doing. You know, like everything he was doing, he thought he was right. And I didn't, don't mean that as saying like being a know-it-all. He just had so much confidence of, hey, this is why I play this shot this way or this is why I do it that way. And to be 12, 13, 14 and practically be a touring professional, I mean, that's why at 16 he came out and almost won the Byron Nelson. Just seeing someone who's so mature beyond his years um, and that was the bar, I mean, it absolutely made me better and made Scotty better too. It motivated you how? You know, he basically set the bar with winning his two U.S. juniors. Um, you know, then Scotty won one, then I won one. Um, you know, the next stepping stone was the amateur level. He won a bunch as an amateur. Scotty won a bunch as an amateur. I won a decent amount. And he just set the bar so high so fast. You know, if this is what he's doing and I know that I can beat him, then I need to just keep doing what I'm doing and eventually I'll be at that level with him. And so. Seeing what Jordan did in 15 and seeing that rise gave Scotty and I the belief that we can do it. And obviously Scotty's doing it this year and um, I know that my time will come too.